Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about and explain you about OAuth 2.0 and OpenID Connect. So these two are the terms that you would have heard so many times in any of the identity management but not everybody knows what it is and how it is applied in the identity management. So come, this is very important topic and I will explain you in a real time example as well after going through what these two are. Come without delay, let's get started. So what are OAuth 2 and OpenID Connect? OAuth 2.0 and OpenID Connects are both widely used protocols. So they are the protocols used for the authentication and authorization. Okay. So you know what this protocol is. It's basically a set of rules and regulations that is uh, there which will define how to do authentication and authorization and they play an essential role in Azure AD B2C. So let's break down what each of these protocols and how they are utilized. So first one is OAuth 2. OAuth 2 is a protocol that enables a secure authorization of resources between different parties without sharing the credentials which means in simple terms it's a way for a user to grant limited access to their resource to another application or service without sharing their username and password. So if you wanted to authenticate a user to your application, you are giving them an option to, to, to come with like you know the identity provider called Facebook or Twitter. They don't share username password with you. Instead they go get authenticated from the Facebook or Twitter and Facebook or Twitter will eventually give you a token which has information about the user and then used on that information Azure AD B2C will actually create an account called identity based account and that's how it is used for you to authenticate and authorize. So Azure AD B2C will never know your username and password right so that's a good example. I think that's what I explained so far. So Azure AD B2C uses this OAuth 2 as an underlying protocol to manage access of resource. When a user tries to access a protected resource like a user profile or a certain functionality in an application, OAuth 2.0 used to grant the access. This involves the issuance of an access token that carries information about the permissions granted to the application. So this is like exactly if you're trying to log in using your uh, your local account to adb to c it will eventually authenticate yourself and then provides a token right the token is the access token the grant token so the token will have all these access token will have all of these information about who you are and what you have access to like in terms of clients now what is open id connect then so open id connect is an identity layer built on top of the OAuth 2 so this is something that you guys should remember okay OAuth 2 is the first protocol and top of that something is built and that's called OpenID Connect. So what's the difference? So it provides a standard way for application to discover and verify information about the users. So while OAuth 2 focuses on authorization and access, this OpenID Connect adds an authentication layer allowing applications to obtain information about your identity of the user. So this is very important. Remember ID token like open ID is for identity uh, You know capturing information and then access token is to specify to which resource a user will have access to it Okay, so let's take an example. So in Azure AD B2C open ID connectors usually to authenticate users and obtain identity information in addition to the access token provided by the OAuth 2. So when a user logs in right so open ID connects is so when a user logs in, right, OpenID Connect is responsible for verifying the user's identity and providing an ID token, which is the Java, like the JSON web token JWT, which will contain the claims about the users. So this ID token is the one which will have claims about the users. Let's take a look at the relationship in Azure AD B2C. Okay, so in AD B2C, this protocol comes hand in hand, like it works in hand in hand. And if you look at the left side, right, it manages the access to resource when a user wants to perform an action that requires a certain permission. 
So OAuth 2 facilitates the process of granting and validating the access token. Now the other side, the right hand side, the open ID connects the which adds an identity layer on top of this OAuth 2. So when a user logs in, right, open ID connect provides an ID token also that will contain the claims about the user such as their name, email and other profile information. Now both the things we saw in Azure AD B2C authentication that we implemented in the single page application and not only that even in the Razor views so I can give you all those information uh, video links in the description go take a look. Now it's time to summarize what we learnt and then we jump on to the real time example okay. So OAuth 2 and OpenID Connects are integral to Azure AD B2C so working together to ensure a secure access to the resource and authentication of user in a way that standardized and widely adopted in the industry. This has been standardized and it was across the industry it is used. Now, OAuth 2 and OpenID Connect in a simple real world example. So let me tell you a story. The magical library adventure. Okay. So once upon a time in the magical kingdom, there was a library filled with encanted books that held secret knowledge. Now the librarian who protected the book wanted to allow wizards and witches to borrow these books but it needed a secure way to control who can access them. Not everybody can access them, correct? Now that's the starting of the story. Now let's get into OAuth 2 which is the library pass. So imagine you, you are a wizard uh, and named as allies, want to borrow a special spell book from the library. Okay, now the librarian doesn't want your actual magical key, but he, he decides to give you a temporary library pass, which is called access token. Request for a library pass, which is authorization request. Now, allies ask the librarian for a library pass to borrow a book. All right, the librarian being cautious, ask allies to show her magical ID card, which is the authentication, to make sure she's a known wizard that she can borrow a book. Now here comes our access token which is the issuing the library pass. Now after looking at the ally's uh, identity it was satisfied and the librarian issues a library pass which is called OAuth 2.0 token. Now this pass contains information about what book allies is allowed to borrow like she cannot just come and take any of the spell book which is in the library right. So that's called the scope and the permissions right that comes into picture for the access token. Now what happens accessing the resource so using the library pass we're going to access the resource so allies with the library pass can now enter the library and borrow the specific spell book she requests she cannot just buy everything because she doesn't have access to every single book in the library so now a librarian checks the pass to ensure lies has the right permission so she asks a book and then librarian cross check whether you really have access to that specific book that you asked for and then if yes librarian is going to give you that book great next comes our open id connect so so far good right so you understood the story so so far we are talking about just the OAuth 2. Now here comes our next hero called OpenID Connect, the wizard's identity. Now let's add a layer to this magical adventure, okay, the initial story that we saw. Now Alice not only wants to borrow a book but also wants to tell the librarian her name that her name is Alice and maybe even make a new wizard friend. She wanted to make a friend, okay, she's gonna give more information to this librarian like her a name, email ID and all those stuff, right? So now introducing this open ID connect, so adding an identity layer to it. So what does Alice ask for librarian passes? She also asks the librarian if she can share her name and a bit about herself. The librarian is being a friendly, which is our open ID connect, agrees and adds an extra enhancement to the library pass, which means which is turning it into an identity pass. So now it's called open ID connect ID token. Okay, you understood? You're following the story. Great. So initially she had access token, which she which knows uh, the librarian to what book she has access. Now library knows her name and then you know librarian being friendly she he can call and add that extra thing in the same identity pass now identity pass contains not only the permission to borrow the books but also allies name and other information now when allies enters the library the librarian not only knows she can borrow the books but she also he also greets her by her name right so in summary right let's summarize this the story 
So OAuth 2, which is called Library Pass in our story, manages the access to the resources, like the books, by issuing a temporary pass, like access token with specific permissions. Now here comes our next hero called OpenID Connect, which is the identity pass. So this adds an identity layer, allowing wizards like allies to not only access the resource, but also share information about themselves securely. So in the magical kingdom of this OAuth 2.01 OpenID Connect, wizards and witches can not only borrow the encanted books but also share a bit about their magical identity along the way. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video, you like this story and how you relate a certain concept into the real world scenario that will help you to understand and keep this knowledge with you and share with others in a good and a correct way. Right? And if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!